Okay, uh, so um, continuing part, this is part two of the painting hangout, but picking right back up during filming. Um, so just had to split that up because my phone will break up uh, those longer videos into um, two parts, or it did when I did the Warhammer 40k one the other day. So, um, all right, so we're just continuing. Uh, I'm going to keep uh, filling these the part of the stock of the musket um, and uh, so if you somehow just clicked on this part part two and didn't see the first one didn't want to watch or didn't watch the first one um, you know I just explained the color palette and uh, we did the uh, base coats um, so we're, we're not quite obviously we're not quite done yet um, so, and then I'll probably also glue him to his base if I have one of these laying around. Uh, take a look at the pile behind me. Uh, I may have to get a get a base from the bag. Um, okay, well. I'll look for that in a second. Um, but uh, so, as you can see, some stuff got into his coat, um, some some of the brown. Uh, but we're going to touch that up at the end. Um, so the next thing we will do is do the brass colors on the buckles and the buttons and all that. So this is pretty simple. We're just going to fill in. Oh, that's a little too watery. Um, okay, let's try this. Okay, we're gonna. All right, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, but we're just filling in these really tiny details. Buckle. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get some more brass bronze onto the onto the palette because this is watered down too much. Um, okay, a little bit of that. All right. Okay, we can, we can close that up just for right now. Do this uh, buckle. And then, let's see, is there any other? Oh, yeah, on the sleeves. And then we're also going to do these bands for the ramrod on the musket. So we'll do that. And just need a little tiny bit of paint on there. Um, and then let's do the buttons on the sleeves. These are really tiny. I gotta get, I gotta get moving in close just to even see it. Um, okay, I'm gonna do that. Sorry, it's out of focus, but I can't see it uh, myself. So I'm gonna do that. One more right there. Okay, that kind of went overboard there. All right, I'm gonna do that. And uh, well, I always give a disclaimer on this channel. You know, I'm not like a pro painter. Um, this isn't a uh, pro painting sort of channel or tutorial. Um, you know, at the very least, I just hope that anybody watching this can maybe take this and do what I do and do it even better. Um, but, um, you know, I'd like to think that, I, I, I'd like to think that, you know, I kind of get these models painted at a, you know, table level, not obsessing over all these details too much, but, you know, getting them ready, ready to play with basically. So what I'm doing right now is I got some regular white, onto the palette um, and we're going to take some blue and just paint over this brass, extra brass, um, but 
uh, yeah, because we're going to need some plain white for the socks and for the um, scarf tie thing, whatever that is. Um, okay, so let's get some extra. Let's paint this buckle a little bit more. Fill that in. And, um, okay. And then we'll go over this. Let's buckle again, too. Um, yeah, kind of a little, a little too much paint on there, but... Okay. Alright, so we got that. And then... I want to fill in that musket a little bit more. This is one of the... This is why priming in white, I do not recommend it. And, uh... But, uh, when I started painting models, again, for bolt action, someone on a bolt action Reddit page was uh, very insistent that I prime in white that that was that you know whatever white white was the best color to prime in um, better than gray or black but I just don't understand that uh, and uh, anyway so going to fill this in a little bit more um you know i mean I, I i'm i'm maybe putting a little too much attention into this weapon because like i said these black powder armies everybody's in a rank you know you're not really going to see individual figures as much um, but that was that's just more for my own peace of mind doing it okay and uh all right so you can see it if it'll focus now uh, we've got you know we've got all everything filled out except for some of these white portions uh, so except for the scarf so we're gonna do that now and uh, if I could get all this extra excess fluid out of my brush um, Paint that in, and then the, uh, paint in the, uh, paint in sock stockings. Oh, and I forgot a brass, forgot a bit of brass, because like I said, this is definitely not a pro painting channel um, on the buckles on the shoes, so we'll go ahead and fill that in real quick. So, just going over that, um, okay, good enough. Um, And then we've got a lot of this extra brass on the coat and some of the gray, the spaceship exterior has rubbed off in the course of painting. So that's why in part one I said we're going to probably give it a, at some additional uh, coats of paint. So let's go over this again and get some of these spots that, um, that, uh, Missed. Mm. Okay, now as you can see, we have the opposite problem where I've started to cover some of the brass. So, uh, you just can't win sometimes. Okay. 
And uh, let's uh, paint over that. And any spots where the brown tones got in, from the leather got onto the uniform. So. do that and oh let's see is there any other spots that need to be painted over again okay gonna do that all right and I think I think that's pretty much everything. Let me see a little bit over down here. Come paint that up. And uh, doing this for YouTube is a little different because I, I think I'm just actually just going to paint over this brass and uh, redo it entirely. So cover that up. And because normally I just get a little tiny um, like bead of paint on the brush and um, just kind of almost like a pen. Just kind of like put a little drop and fill it in. Okay. All right, so, I mean, really, if you wanted to, if you were painting something like this, you wanted to stop here, um, you know, I think it would be, you know, game ready. Um, you know, not, not, you know, not expert, you know, whatever, um, box art, but I mean, I think that would be, uh, enough, but we're going to go the little, do a little bit extra and just add in some of those washes and, uh, and we're also touching up some other spots as we go checking everything. Um, and, uh, Fix up some of these portions on the hands. Oh, we've got a little bit of gray. It's a little gray because of the. I clean the brush off enough. Um, okay. All right. Now we are going to do the apothecary white for the uniform coat. Okay. So it's this stuff from GW. And open it up. So it says white, um, but it dries. It's their white in contrast paint. It's not really a white, as you can probably tell. Um, but it does help when you're trying to get this effect. So it goes on like this. And it's going to fill in some of our details. And... Um, what I try to do is like, you know, spread, put, dip the brush, brush it on, and, and then pick up some of it if it's not, um, if there's excess, and then brushing that elsewhere on the figure. So we're just going to keep brushing that on, and as you can see, I'm not hitting the accessories because we're going to use some different washes for that. Um, so I'm going to keep brushing that on, and we're going to be trying and, try and be careful not to hit the cuffs or the belts, but um, if you do a little bit, it's not, not, going, to, not going to ruin the figure. Um, let's get this back part of the model, get his back of his coat. Um, and so, as you might be able to tell, it's kind of getting that more of the pearl gray that we're going for. Um, not exactly a, uh, perfect white, um, oh, and my flash went off because my camera, or my phone is low on power, so, um, Okay, let me pause this and try and get it plugged in. One moment, please. Okay, I don't have a charging cord within ease of reach, and we're almost done. So, 
Um, I think the lighting is good enough um, just to get the point across because uh, we're not really doing anything too out of the ordinary with this. We're just brushing on some washes. And uh, okay, so we got the uh, earth shade. So we're going to do that on the musket and on the um, belts. So we're going to just brush this on, kind of keeping it as close to the spot as possible. Um, so just using a little bit, not too much. Um, and uh, let's get to the turn around to the back and just want a little bit of the, uh, the wash just to give the, you know, the leather more of a ruddy sort of russet or whatever word you want to use look um, give it some shading and definition so okay and then we're gonna do that on his flesh as well so same thing just gonna brush a little bit on and uh, this will really help make the face pop a bit more um, so brush that on and then um, We'll do some on the hair too, since he's got brown hair. Same thing, just gonna brush this over. And we'll get a little bit more on the face as well. Get that, get some more definition on that, okay. And then our last, oh, didn't get all of the musket, so. Gonna brush more onto the stock of the weapon. And uh, get, just gonna be like that, okay. All right, and lastly, our last color is gonna be the uh, black, Nuln oil, the trusty Nuln oil. Get this opened up and, uh, you know, just going on all the other spots that we didn't didn't hit with the other two, basically. So let's get the shoes. Cuff, cuffs, I should say. And cartridge box. And then the, uh, the hat. And, um, do a little bit on the on the metal as well, the gun metal as well. Uh, but I noticed something about these old flintlock muskets is the metal seemed to have been like a lot shinier than modern blued um, weapon steel or, or firearm steel. Um, so I like to give it a little more of a weathered look, um, but that's just something I've noticed. And, all right, take a look at the figure. I think we got everything. Um, and then these uh, washes just have to dry. Um, and then I'll glue him onto a base, and we can just get one final look at him. Okay, and our just our last little bit. I uh, got him glued onto the base. Take a look at him. Um, so those washes are going to dry out and become a little less, um, ostentatious, I guess. Um, so, and then he'll join his comrades in this brigade. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, um, not a 
terribly difficult paint job, but um, this guy is the first one I started with, and I and I kind of messed with him a little too much. Um, that's why he looks a little different. He was the test model. I talked about him in previous videos. Um, but, uh, yep. So, um, that is how you, uh, paint a guy or hope, um, somebody finds this useful. Um, you know, like I keep saying, it's not a pro painting tutorial, but, uh, figure this is, uh, if you want to get something ready for a game, um, or you're like me, kind of at a similar skill level as me, maybe upper, middle, I'd like to think, uh, you might find this helpful for doing these Austrian white or pearl gray uniforms, um, or you just like more of Spanish Succession Marlboro stuff. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, end of the end of the end of this painting hang hang painting hangout and end of part two um and uh I, again hope you liked it and i will talk to you all next time